the Roman helmet plume. Of all impressive ancient armor, Roman armor stands out, most notably the Roman helmet, or galia, often shown with colorful plumes of horsehair or feathers. If you need to urinate, now would be the time. I'm fine, thank you. The Romans were not the first culture to wear helmet plumes in this way. The Greeks most certainly did too. The Greeks used them slightly different, however. Unlike in the Roman army, where primarily just men of rank wore plumes, a Greek army of hoplites would all wear plumes, and they would wear them solely for intimidation, adding up to a foot to a man's height. In 300, Leonidas' hoplites would have had plumes as well, but this was overlooked for cinematic effect. For the Romans, plumes called Christa were worn for intimidation and also for tactics. They could indicate separate units of men and rank. For example, Roman centurions, typically leading 80 to 100 men, are believed to have worn a transverse crest. Evidence of this has been found on centurion gravestones. The average legionnaire did not wear a plume, so they could easily identify their leader in battle. Outside the army, plumes could be further worn by gladiators, more or less correctly shown in The Simpsons. The higher in rank a man, the more likely decorative the helmet. Decorative helmets also added to the overall professional mentality of the Roman army, which often polished their armor to a bright shine, making legions an impressive show of power as they moved in unison. On film, these plumes are certainly everywhere, and they really make for great cinema. Historically, it can't be said definitively how prolific these plumes were throughout the Roman Empire in time or space. Archaeology would suggest that they were most popular in and around Rome itself, and before the 2nd century AD. The Roman Empire at its height stretched from modern-day Scotland to Saudi Arabia, and stretched through time from 625 BC to 476 AD. Is that it? I was just beginning to enjoy myself. Archaeology and texts also don't give a full picture of how varied these plumes were in color and design, so artistic interpretation in many movies is largely fair game. What is known is that from evidence from sculptures and monuments indicate that by the 2nd century AD, crests were less used during combat, and more so for parades and festivals. This may have been due to centurions frequently being targeted by enemy soldiers. What is certain is that helmets for identification purposes can be a useful tactic, one that has been used off and on for the past 2000 years. A World War II airborne helmet, for example, the Ace of Spades tells others this man is from the 506 Parachute Regiment. The vertical stripe on the back of the helmet indicates an officer. These indicators were designed to be more subtle, to put officers in less harm, in theory. Next! I'm all right, I'm all right. Am I all right? All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this brief on Roman Christa. Roman arms and armament are a giant subject and a bit out of the scope of my channel. So if you want to add anything, please do so in the comments section. And we'll see you in the next video.